Beach. We're here today with dozens of spring breakers. Where there was a very, very, very scary incident. There was a shark. And dozens of spring breakers were scared out of that water. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, folks? Tattoo Toy Hunter here coming to you today with a video covering my uh, toy hunt and retro review on my King Shark Wave, which I have finally completed, and I want to share it with you guys so you can see exactly how I came about picking up these hard-to-find figures. Here we are pulling up uh, at a, my local Walmart with my partner, the Walmart Rambler. She's going to go in with me, help with the hunt. And as you'll see in the video, uh, before we leave this store, she actually made sure I found, got two of these figures for $9 a pop instead of the $20 that they were uh, scanning. Due to a mistake by Walmart placing the whole uh, wave in a $9 uh, marked area. So we're going through here, we see Batgirl, we see Hawkman, we see Jim Gordon. They have just about the entire wave. The only one they don't have that I came across before is actually uh, Zoom. He was the most difficult of the wave for me to find. So I do eventually find him, as you'll see in the video. But I scanned through everything they had here, and I was able to pick up a couple. Of course, I was having to budget, so I can only get a couple at a time. So we spend a while in this Walmart uh, just going through everything, kind of looking for Zoom at the same time. I see what they have. I see what they're marked as. I make sure to record it so I have proof to the manager in front. We go ahead and we hit all the rest of the toys just like we would normally do, just in case there's something that we overlooked before. Uh, this right here, Zoom, is actually a clip from a previous stop at the same store, and they had it there for $16.82. I passed on it at the time, which turned out to be a a mistake because it took me another month or so i believe this uh from beginning to end the hunt for king shark wave took me six months exactly six months so passing it here was pretty epic fail on my part but i did find it eventually So at this point, we've looked through everything. We go back, we go through this uh, black shelf again, exactly where we found the entire wave. We make sure to take photos so that we can take them up to the front manager because we already knew it was probably gonna be a incorrectly marked, but we went ahead and uh, went with it. We had tried to get these at this price because I could understand it was one or two hanging up with a $9 tag. This was the entire wave, so it was not a mistake. Like they marked this entire wave. 984 as you see on this uh, shelf so we went ahead and I took the two that I wanted and we went up and I made sure to have photos to be able to, to show the manager and you'll see when we get up to the to the check checkout they did ring up at about 20 it was a long uh, heated debate I'll say with the manager she kept sending people back to check everything I think the guy that was in charge of the toy section was in, got in trouble because of this because of their policy of having to sell it at what it's marked. Eventually, she let us buy two, but she even fought trying to only let us get one for a while. But we were two different customers, so they eventually let us have the both. So here you see, we're up here. The clerk is actually, she's very nice. She tried her best to, to help us out, uh, but the manager was giving us a hard time on it. But luckily, you see my buddy, the Walmart Rambler, she stuck up for us. And here I am. I was able to purchase two of them for $9 a pop, $9.87, I think. And they were two of my favorites. I, uh, I love the Joker. He's my favorite. And Jim Gordon's great also. So we were able to pick up two on this occasion. As you'll see later on, I, I end up uh, picking up Batgirl at a different time. And I picked up... Uh, I ended up getting Hawkman as a gift from my wife, which I'll show here in a bit, which also really awesome that she helped me complete the wave. And then we happened to go to uh, a large Walmart in Corpus Christi, Texas, 50 miles away. And that's when you'll see I finally found Zoom. It was great. Here we are with five of the six. At this point, all I needed was Zoom. Uh, it had been months and months and months. I could not find Zoom anywhere. So I'm showing off here the, the five that I did have so far to date. Which uh, Hawkman being, this one Hawkman was a gift here from the wifey. 
at one point. So she hooked me up with with uh, Hawkman. Uh, I found the other four on my own, so I have five at this point. After this Hawkman gift uh, is when we make our trip to Corpus, and I really lucked out. Okay, and here you see I finally find Zoom. This is the Zoom I buy. I pay regular price for it, which was just almost $20. I, was, I didn't care at this point. It was the last one I needed. And to find it, I mean, I was almost emotional at the time because, like I said, it took six months from when I bought the first figure, which I think was Batgirl, up until I find Zoom here. Six months have passed through to finally complete this wave. So it was a really good time for me. Uh, words can't explain how happy I was. So to able to, to grab this bad boy, which was an important part because this has the, the head and the waist area. So that's a very important part to the, the head. <clears throat> so I finally got it and put the beast together. All right, folks, Tattoo Toy Hunter here coming to you with a retro review over my King Shark Wave uh, DC Multiverse action figures. I want to go ahead and cover this. I completed this a while back. Wanted to show you guys uh, the clips of me finding it, including some of the harder to find, like Zoom, and uh, putting King Shark together, which I was super happy. I think he's an amazing. As much flack as Multiverse gets, King Shark is one of the greatest, in my opinion, one of the better build a figure, collect and connect, whatever you want to call it, from Marvel and DC. I think it's one of the better. It's up there. For the new stuff, like, I know, like, uh, Apocalypse, Giant Man, like, the older ones, Bing Fang Foom, they're amazing. There's no taking away from them. But as far as the newer, more modern build of figures go, I think this one's at the top. So anyway, let's go ahead and cover the action figures, starting with the ones I like the least up until the ones I like the best. And then we'll go into the King Shark. So there is six action figures to this wave to put him together. Going from least, I'm gonna pick Batgirl. One of the mo biggest reasons is this. She does not stand. I've tried everything. I don't have any stands I can make them, I guess. But I got her to stand. I was about to talk smack and now she stands perfect. Anyway, this is gonna be my least favorite. Uh, there's very little detail to her weapons. As you can see, it's a chunk of plastic for the her bat, what are they called, star? Boomerang? Boomerang, yeah, the batarang, you're right. It's just a hunk of plastic, there's no paint, there's no detail, there's no sculpt. Same thing with this little box, could be soap, could be a foam. There's no detail to it. No uh, soap. sculpt, <laughs> that's just a gray bar. It's awful. Uh, you think it's a walk tie? It's probably a walk tie. Cape's nice and soft. I like that. It doesn't get in the way of her articulation. So this is two. These are all 2016 stamped. Uh, she does have pretty good articulation. Single elbow, single knee. She's got that uh, mid thigh swivel. Legs on a ball. She does have the abdominal crunch and it's very ugly looking. <laughs> uh, face sculpt's pretty good, not bad. And as you can see her battering, it's pretty awful. Uh, what can you do? That's not funny, battering. Battering. So that girl is gonna be my least favorite of the six. And she stands again. And she stands again like, without even trying. I fought her like for- You know what it is, she's female. She does what she wants. That's what it is. Okay, having to go for my next least favorite, I'm gonna have to choose, I'm gonna pick the uh, alternate for Flash. He looks okay, like I like the outfit. There's not a whole lot of detail to it. I guess there's just not a lot of detail to it, period though, for the figure either on the show. He has the same articulation, single elbow, very tight joints. Uh, arm is on a ball, head's on a ball, hat comes off, which is really cool. Sculpt is pretty decent, uh, match to the actor, not perfect, but not bad. He's got an upper thigh, also swivel. He has 
waist swivel. He's got that weird H joint they do on the legs. This one's not on a ball. It's got that odd looking joint. Single, single knee and as always they do those real ugly ankle hinges so they don't move out like a rocker. He comes with these really cool looking uh, lightning effects to showcase his power, which I do like. And of course he's gonna stand good right now. He also, I usually have a hard time standing in. So that's gonna be the alternate earth. I can't remember what earth he is, Flash. My next is gonna have to be Jim Gordon Batman. I really like him. He's halfway up on the list. Uh, it does come with a really plain Batman head sculpt. I actually like the Jim Gordon with a mohawk. I think it really makes him stick out. Uh, he has a really cool weapon on the side, as you can see. The belt is loose, but it's permanently wrapped around him. His gun has a little more detail in the sculpt, but yet no love on the paint, so a little wash would have been nice. But it's cool that he has the the little gun holster there for him. That's something that the Batgirl doesn't have, so I can appreciate that. He stands a lot better than the first two. And uh, like I said, I, this is the way I'm gonna have him on mine, displaying him with this uh, mohawk, because I think it just it's different. Okay, the next one I'm gonna go ahead and pick is gonna be Hawkman. I really like Hawkman. I think his wings have a lot of cool detail to the feathers. His outfit has a lot of sculpt in it, a lot of paint. But all in all, I like his uh, club. The club is actually needs a little paint also. It's just a hunk of plastic, but there is a lot of detail to it as far as sculpt. Face sculpt looks pretty good for being multiverse. It's not bad to likeness to the actor that plays him. It's supposedly real hot. Christy at a huge Walmart, but not after looking for half a year, I think it was. So he's got the typical H joint there in the, for his uh, crotch area. He's got the upper thigh, he's got the waist swivel, he's got a real ugly ab crunch that works well though. He's got single knee, single elbow, wrist is on a ball, and he's got that real ugly ankle that's just a hinge back and forth that doesn't rock. I do like the translucent blue lightning effects for his ability. And uh, the sculpt's not that bad. I mean, it's all you got is really can do is put the gray lines. But if you look at his outfit, he's got some real cool wrinkles that are actually sculpted into the clothes. It's real subtle, but if you get up on it, like they did put a lot of work into it. So it's not just a black hunk of plastic figure. Face also has a lot of detail to it, but you have to be right up on it to notice. So he's gonna be my second favorite. Now my very favorite is gonna be this big mamma jamma. I love this variation of uh, the Joker. He comes with one weapon, which is a really nice looking handgun. There's a lot of detail to it, but there's not any paint to it. So again, all the weapons of this wave seem to have been left behind on paint, but detail not bad. I love his suit. This is the alternate head sculpt, as you can tell. It comes where you can port a battering into it, like Batman hit him with a battering. So there is another head sculpt, but it doesn't have this amazing grin, and it doesn't have the battering port hole in the you know, eyeball socket. Uh, 
I love the detail on it. I know it's just mostly flat white, but you can see all the wrinkles in the suit. The, you can see the tie looks really good. The undershirt, this is a soft material, so it doesn't really hamper his uh, ability to move and articulate. Other than that, he's got the exact same articulation as the wrist. So he is gonna be my favorite figure of this wave. So we got the Joker. second King Shark, but this is my favorite head sculpt, the one that's the classic Great White Shark. I think it's amazing that he has articulation here on the mouth. The teeth look great, the detail, the paint, they just did really well. My copy is great. It stands tall and tough. All the articulation works well. There's nothing loose on them. Even down to like the toes, look at the paint on the toes. Like, the figures may not have gotten love, but for some reason they're collecting connect. They're like putting a lot of work, a lot of effort into him. He's just, I love him. He's massive. And he's definitely one of my favorite, favorite uh, builder figures that I've put together. Marvel and uh, DC combined. He's one of my favorites. He looks incredible. So this is going to be my retro review of the King Shark Wave by the Multiverse uh, DC figures. I really think overall they did a really good job on them. Let's see if we can get them all to stand at one time. They're starting to stand! <laughs> Let's put all their little accessories too. I love this uh, helmet that Alternate Flash comes with, also. I think they did a really good job. And this is going to be the hat trick. Not that there's anything that's in three ish. But if we can get this chick to stand and not ruin the setup, uh, you know what? I'm going to cheat. Ah! You bad girl. Not bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even mean that. I guess that worked. <laughs> please stand, bad girl. Please stand. Fix your feet. I know, but I don't want to cheat. There. Oh, you know what? Let's get her face the altar. There we go. All right, folks. So this is going to be my retro King Shark review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, overall, amazing wave. I enjoy collecting the six guys. Uh, again, like I said, Zoom was very, very hard to find. But I'm glad that I did eventually. It made it more interesting than just buy, you know, buying. Uh, I ended up getting two of these because the Walmart Rambler, she earned her name on this wave. They messed up. They put a $9 price tag on two of them that were going for 20 at the time. Uh, I can't remember which two. I think it was, I think it was uh, Jim Gordon and Joker. She got me for $9 each instead of the 20. So I didn't pay the full amount that this wave usually runs. But I think it's just an excellent, excellent uh, wave. Let's go and get a shot. King Shark looks amazing. Look at all the battle damage. Look at his mouth, the, the detail in the mouth and the teeth, just real vicious looking. Joker, one of my favorites. They did really well overall. I mean, I can nitpick about certain stuff Multiverse did do or didn't do, but overall, I'm gonna give them props. 
This is going to be the Tattoo Toy Hunter, reminding y'all to never give up the hunt, guys. Take care. All right, fam. I hope you enjoyed this Toy Hunt Retro Review. Uh, I've never got to properly show off my complete King Shark Wave, so I wanted to share it with you all. I hope y'all have a blessed day, and y'all take care. Much love.